W. Go Yi, The Rock's daughter Ava reacts to drafts after Raw. Hi lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Lima, hope your day is so well. If you like the video and subscribe the channel. The UE superstar and The Rock's daughter, Ava has now shared her reaction to multiple NXT superstars getting drafted to either Raw or SmackDown. She currently serves as the on-screen manager for the white and gold brand and for the past few months, the 22-year-old has been doing a great job under the leadership of Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels. On the latest episode of Monday Night Raw, it was announced that former NXT champion Ilja Dragunov and former NXT women's champion Lyra Valkyria have been moved up to the red brand. Plus, Blair Davenport of the developmental brand was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown and Dijak to Raw. Overall four NXT stars from Ava's brand have made their way onto WWE's main roster, and Dwayne Johnson's daughter has bid them farewell on social media. Taking to her Instagram stories, the on-screen NXT manager shared pictures with the Mad Dragon, Lyra, and other stars who were called up to either Raw or SmackDown. The 2024 draft kicked off on the previous week's edition of SmackDown. One of the names who shocked everyone on the NXT brand after being drafted to Raw was Kiana James. From the heartbreak kid to Ava, several members of the white and gold brand shared their emotional reactions to the 25-year-old star's move to Monday nights. WWE posted a wholesome moment between Kiana James and Ava as the latter bid farewell to the star. I'm honored to give you this as a co-worker, a superstar, and as my friend. I will miss you dearly but that's where you belong and I think you know that, Ava said. Braun Breaker and Carmelo Hayes were also drafted to Raw and SmackDown, respectively. Mello faced Cody Rhodes in the main event of last week's Blue Brand show and earned massive respect from the American Nightmare for his impressive performance despite losing the match. It remains to be seen which NXT superstar will soon challenge for major titles on the main roster. However, was The Rock's return to WWE an attempt to break the Hollywood star's losing streak? The Rock's return to WWE went better than other projects out of the ring. Was The Rock inspired to return to WWE after a series of public setbacks in the world of entertainment? Some within the promotion believe so. The Brahma Bull was appointed to TKO's board of directors in January 2024 and quickly found himself taking center stage on WWE programming. After a shaky start given the immense popularity of Cody Rhodes, the Rock found his place as a heel megalomaniac, creating the popular Final Boss persona. On Wrestling Observer Radio, The Rock's return was discussed in detail. Some in WWE believe The Rock's comeback stemmed from more than just wanting to give back to wrestling. There were people in WWE who felt like his return to WWE this year was an attempt to turn around a losing streak so to speak. Yum Rock got cancelled. Some of his movies weren't as successful as hoped for and WWE was an easy win. Young Rock's cancellation came after three seasons of the show, with the final season averaging 1.4 million viewers, under half the 3 million that the show's initial season brought in. This setback came just one year after Black Adam, a project the Hollywood A-lister had been attached to for years, flopped at the box office. The Rock has almost always succeeded in the world of professional wrestling, so it's not a surprise that he has returned to the industry he once dominated. On the post-WrestleMania Raw, Rock vowed to return and confront undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes. Here are some recent articles regarding The Rock as the final boss continues to make waves in WWE even during his current hiatus.